I've been asked what would be a good investment ball python if you consider breeding or even starting out. In this video, I'm going to go over one specific morph that's not going to put you over those triple digits. Every single day. Hey guys, Ron here from BBM Reptiles. Thank you again for taking the time for stopping by my channel. And if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow me along in this incredible journey of reptile keeping, specifically working with ball pythons. Guys, I love wearing my shirt. I mean, like it identifies me, the logo that I created, the name. It basically, it's my trademark of what this whole channel and this hobby means to me. But once in a while, I do get that special surprise from different breeders that actually gives me the pleasure of actually having their shirts. So right now, without further ado, I'm gonna actually showcase one special shirt that I just received. And I'm gonna count it down like this. It's gonna go down in three, two, one, boom. Small Town Exotics. Shane from Small Town Exotics, thank you very much for the shirt. He's part of the Four Horsemen. The Four Horsemen is a group that was created with Richard Barrows from Predator BP and Rob Barclow from Royal Balls, myself and Shane. And it's a, it's a close knit community that we created actually. And actually I have to give the benefit to Richard. Richard actually was the one that took the advantage and made a group for all of us actually to get together and discuss different projects and um, talk about YouTube ideas, talk about projects. I would say it's like a mentorship that we created within each other to help each other out along the time um, and giving each of us our personal experience to see how we could benefit each other. And you know, sometimes when you go on Facebook groups, usually you're gonna get a crowd or someone basically with some negative comments. And because Richard actually created this group for us, it's actually personalized within us and basically it avoids that unnecessary um, hateful words that sometimes you might find on Facebook or in other social medias. And it's basically, it's it formed to motivate each of us to actually help us benefit within the hobby, our projects, and give us special different ideas. And th th check this out. Shane even actually tagged it on the back of the shirt, the Four Horsemen. I mean, like, it's... It's, it's incredible. I mean, like, Shane, thank you very much for the shirt. I mean, like, I can't wait, basically, to be able to send mine out to each of them. I mean, like, remember, we got one breeder in the United Kingdom, we have one in Malaysia, and we have, basically, Shane in Bakersfield, California. I mean, like, we're reaching all over, but it's real, really incredible. Like, guys, um, that's the best part of the hobby, and that's all I can actually um, express because that's all I've seen. As a matter of fact, today, tonight, February 26th, Reptile Unplug. That's a vlog or a video channel that's going to be sponsored by Joel from State 48 and Adam of Beach Bum Exotics. They're going to be interviewing Shane Kelly himself. So tonight, I believe in my local time is 10 p.m., which will be today. If you get a chance, I'm going to put the link also to their channel. Don't miss that interview because Shane's a great guy. And also, Joel and Adam, those guys are the bombs. You guys, you're my fan. And like Joe once told me, no, Joe, you're the man. You're the man. But anyway, guys, I know I'm rambling, but what I wanted to talk about basically because I get this answer, this question asked so many times from people that would love to start in the hobby. What's a good beginner snake to get into that's not going to put you over? And the beginner snake, in my opinion, because there is a lot of good combinations out there or base morph that you could work with. But out of all of them, um, I picked the bamboo. And the bamboo, when I first invested in it, it was not the amount that it is right now. But it did give me the chance to work with it in so many different combos. And it's in that limit that basically that could be attainable for a lot of people. Bamboos, basically, they're running around $300 to $400, depending what sex are you looking at or what age of that ball python you want to look at. If, for example, if you go into morph market, you will find some males are reaching $250 to $300 and some females a little bit more than that, but they won't basically put you so over 
over over that amount. Now the benefit that bamboo has, because there's a lot of people that says bamboo is such an overpowering gene and it could be lost because of how dominant that gene can be. I kind of say on the contrary with that because some of the genes that I've personally worked with, and I want to go through some of them right now. Now the bamboo is such a beautiful gene in itself because besides it's, I would say it's silver, silverish color. It's one of those snakes that by itself um, has its blue eyes. Now, most snakes, they, they basically have a different trait in the color, the majority of it being black. Now, you'll have the recessive genes, for example, the albinos or the lavender albinos, and sometimes um, they're the toffees and the candies. Those are recessive genes, and basically their eye pupils are red. And obviously the pastels, when you have a pastel, some of them has a green color within their irises. But the bamboo specifically, because there's a lot of people that love the blue-eyed Lucy's. Now the blue-eyed Lucy's would be a super Mojave or a super lesser, or even a lesser with a Mojave. But the bamboo also offers that option, even a super form. But not going as far as a super form, a single gene bamboo does have blue eyes. And it's a beautiful 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 color and the snake by itself basically is appealing because out of most beginner snakes when you think about it for example i know there's beautiful colors like for example the bananas um the the bamboo specifically because it has those blue eyes that's i would say is a beautiful trait for many people when they want to actually start out with it now when you take bamboo in combos it basically there's different ways that you can take that for example, in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the combos I personally pulled out, and I'm gonna show you some combos that I would love to actually produce in the future with the same genes. Okay, guys, right here we have a bamboo pastel, and she's a female, and I love her. I really, really do love her, specifically how bright she is, and I just love that blue eye. If we can actually focus in a little bit more, look how incredible her eyes is. All bamboos, they have blue eyes. The super form is a white snake, which also has a blue eyes. It's also considered a blue-eyed Lucy. And um, that's actually what I'm trying to hit on this season, but a variance actually. But right here, we have, like I said, a female pastel bamboo. Now, this is just one of the bamboos that I have. We're going to go on to the next one right now. Now this shy girl over here, if I can actually get her open up, this is a bamboo super pastel spider. And this is a clutch mate. This is a clutch mate of that bamboo pastel we just saw a little while ago. Let's see if I can actually open this little girl up. You can see the cool head stripe actually. I love the pattern. Come on little girl. Let's see if I can actually get her to open up just a little bit. Guess it's late evening for her she would be more active but right here hey, come on girl okay she's not working too much for me come on baby I love that eye stripe and that clear beautiful blue eyes and that's a cool thing because basically pastels they have green eyes or most of the pastel they have green eyes so it's kind of a it's kind of actually a game to see the the variance of the eye color in this one but right here she is a super pastel bamboo spider okay now she's being more active let's see if i could get her to to actually move around here i love these baby snakes i gotta tell you and this like i said is a clutch mate from the bamboo pastel and um, I produced her last season. Again, right here, bamboo, super pastel spider. And another one, I guess, she's also head for albino. Okay, let me just actually get this one in a way. And she, she can actually stay for the camera. I love this snake. Let's see if I can actually focus this a little bit more. It looks great. I love this girl. Okay, now we're going to go to the next female bamboo that I have in my collection. Another one that I produce that I'm extremely excited with. 
Okay, now this one is um, a well first actually for me. This one right here is a bamboo dream blast. Now what a bamboo dream blast is, is a bamboo, orange dream, pastel, and pinstripe. And this girl, when she popped out, it took me a while to actually get through the, the right identification. But since I produce bamboo lemon blasts, and I've also produced lemon blast, and I've also produced dream blast, that's basically the best way you can to identify Morris's basically when you actually produce them and you get something to compare off of. But this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful snake. And it's also female, so you know she's a powerhouse female that I'm holding back, obviously. And to see what future projects I'm going to put her in, um, who knows? Who knows? She's also, again, possible head for albino. Um, but obviously I can't do albino in this because I'm going to lose basically most of the genes. So um, maybe a super orange dream version into this would be cool. And um, clear it up a little bit more. Probably put Enchi. Um, who knows? But I mean, like, I love, let's see if I can actually get her to um, show off her, her bamboo stripes. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful snake. And I call it the bamboo dream. The bamboo dreamer, I think I, I, I registered as. The bamboo dreamer or the bamboo dream blast. Look how wild, actually. I like the... Actually, it's clearing, it's cleared up most of the, the sides on that. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I can't wait to see what I can work into this girl. Okay, I'm not done. I got more bamboos to show you. I've actually been working with this for a long time. Actually, I also produce a bamboo orange dream spinner blast. That one I actually sold off. Um, it was a male. I figured since I had this girl, the male, I already had a bamboo spinner blast. I actually um, sold that one off too. And started all over and I'm just going to stay with this girl. That way um, I can actually avoid spider in this specific combo because I want to take advantage. You know what? That's what I'm going to work with. Now thinking about it, this girl is going to see a clown. So that would be cool because I've always wanted a bamboo clown. Um, a bamboo pinstripe orange dream passed out. Wow, that's crazy. Anyway, that's this girl, bamboo dream blast. Okay, now this big girl, this big girl right here, she is a bamboo orange belly, which is similar to yellow belly. This is a bar orange belly spider. She's also 100% head for orange ghost or hypo. And this is another girl that actually I produced here. And I also have the male version. Um, the male, obviously, I'm not going to put it with this female. Because it would actually produce a white snake being from the bamboo. Or also from the orange belly. Which is similar to the yellow belly that would make an ivory. So um, that's not going to happen. But I love the coloring on this girl. Let's see if I can actually get her. Because she is huge. She's going next season. Not this season. I didn't use it this season. Because um, actually I didn't have a hypo or an orange ghost male available to produce with this female. So um, that's something that I'm going to wait with other projects to see what I could produce. As a matter of fact, I have a leopard. I have a leopard. 100% orange ghost and 100% head for clown. Um, I would wait to actually produce the hypo clown to um breed to this female that's what i'm going to do so it's going to be basically um a leopard hypo clown um i know spider is going to reduce even more the pattern on the leopard but um that's something i'm going to work with either way okay guys right here basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you through morph market basically the prices that you're going to find when you're looking for a ball python um specifically the bamboo now, um, when you hit um, Morph Market, basically that's my go-to page when I want to actually look for prices. Um, right here, you're going to see different prices of bamboos in itself and in combos. But I'm going to just basically break it down price-wise what you can see when you start looking for a beginner. 
For example, if we go right here for this one male, um, it's with Dynasty Reptiles. They're, put, they're posting it at 275. And let's look at this male over here. Um, I mean, like, what can I say? It's, it's a beautiful ball python in itself. Um, if you can appreciate from the picture, you can see the blue eyes. That's something that I always um, talk about that I'm very, very excited to see in a basic gene morph. And um, from here, on the next one, I pulled out this beautiful female. And actually, no, this is the male. The first one that I pulled up was a female. I'm sorry. It's a female, and they priced it at $300. And the male right here, this one's out of Dynasty Reptiles. He has it listed at $275. And um, like I said, it's the colors. It's the colors of the um, of the bamboo that it's so impressive, and you could still appreciate. I mean, like like I said, all bamboos they have the blue eyes, but it's such a beautiful, simple gene to start out with, and it's it's not one of those genes that's gonna put you over the limit. And there's so much to be done with the bamboo gene in itself that it's um it's mind boggling the potentials that can actually be unlocked, and just to show you a few different combos that I actually pulled out here. Right here we have a Super Bamboo. Also from Dynasty Reptiles. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like, as you can see, um, it still has the blue eyes. It's pr practically blue. And it kind of looks like an ivory because it does have these yellow splotches. Some of the ivories has. But what I have noticed about the Super Bamboo is the same thing, for example, as any leucistic combos. Like, for example, the Super Fire. Sometimes you will have the yellow spots on it. Sometimes it'll be clear white. It's basically, I guess it's the, the luck of the coin when you're actually working the super form of the ball python. But regardless, as you can see, it still has the eye stripe typically from the, the bamboos and um, the same coloring of the eyes. And right here, this is a beautiful example. Again, this one is with Dynasty Reptiles. Now, the other combos I'm going to show you, it's with a breeder that I had the benefit to actually sit down and talk with um, in Tinley in October. And I've noticed that he's been working with bamboos in so many different combos, and he actually dedicated the time, um, and that would be Garrick the Meyer. And right here, we have a bamboo clown. And that is a goal that I have specifically with the bamboo in itself. Now, um, I would love to reach it in, an, in a variance of an additional gene, but as you can see, the bamboo clown alone, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful snake. And I had the pleasure, like I said, um, I had the chance to actually talk with, with Garrett when I was in Tinley, and I saw the clown bamboo, and it blew me away. It's, it's one of those must-have genes that I have to work with eventually. And put that with a specific combo additional with Clown, it's amazing. And again, going off with what Garrett is working, right here we have an albino bamboo. And um, just to give you a, a look at how beautiful this snake looks. And I got to tell you something. I've been, I have a, I have a hidden surprise myself. I've been working bamboo for such a long time, but I never imagined within my collection, my bamboos had the albino gene. And it was a surprise because I, I actually sold one of my bamboos to someone and that breeder wanted to produce head albinos. And he actually bred that bamboo and chief phantom to a head albino to basically work out 50% heads, but to get in that path, not knowing or actually not looking for the albino gene, but just by chance that albino was that, that other snake he was working with was head albino. And he actually sent me a message and this is the snake that he produced. This right here is a bamboo albino and we believe it to be Enchi. So um, from the looks, we think it, it is a bamboo Enchi albino. And I'm, I'm surprised, actually, when he reached back to me and he, he asked me where did my, uh, my bamboo originated, um, I got I, I, I to gotta be honest with you. Um, it blew me back. It, moved, it blew me back because I've worked that, out, that original bamboo. And the thing is, it wasn't the original bamboo that I had, but the offspring of that bamboo, when I bred it with something else, 
that produced albino or it had it carried over that albino gene. So basically the father of this specific albino, I have the siblings. So within my collection, I have possible head albinos, but I have to work with it in this season and in future seasons to try to actually narrow it down to figure out where the albino is. But this snake right here is an offspring of one of the snakes that I actually produced that was sold off to this other person. So I have the clutch mates of the father of this snake. So that's something that I'm working with this season to see if I can actually unlock the albino within my bamboo. Now, going back to other combos that the bamboo has to offer, going back again with Royal Constricted Designs, right here we have a beautiful banana bamboo, possible calico and yellow belly, but regardless, it's the banana that's actually making that impressive color. And how it would look as an adult, that's a question to be seen. I personally have not seen it as an adult, but it gives it that actually translucent look towards the bamboo it gives it more, more like it i would say like an easter color something that you would see to, typically within the easter season when you have those those colorings those bunny rabbits or the eggs it's that's what it looks um the complemented with the bamboo so it's it's an incredible incredible possibility again right there and again another combo that um i have to go back with royal constrictor design bamboo genetic stripe Look how beautiful this snake looks. I mean, like it's it's incredible. Bamboo is is as strong, I would say, as it is with champagne, as you can see. Um, but I just love the way the the color of it is. And like I said, the potentials are so limitless. There's so many different things that you could work with bamboo. And I remember one time I had the benefit to have a conversation with Justin. And I remember one thing that Justin actually told me is that there's always something new to be worked with. With any gene that you decide to work with, there's always something new. Um, we just have to find what actually works good with that combo and unlock it. And once you unlock that, that specific gene, and his example was the black pastel in the Pompeii, a black pastel, and even the red stripe. It's one of those genes that's been out there for the longest. But when you find that right combination, you bring the full potential of that gene and it actually glows. And then you see the value of what that overlooked gene was. That's something that we, we in the breeding community, we actually call them sleeper genes. There's a lot of genes out there that, that we consider as sleeper genes that does have a potential, but finally that potential is still unknown. And that's, that's what brings the fun out of all this. So like I said, bamboo, with the possibilities of different things that you can work with and what you can actually see, it's it's um, the potential is limitless and it gives you so much to explore. That's why I personally love working within this gene and figuring out what other things I can actually open and accomplish. As you can see, the bamboo is an incredible gene in itself, and there's still a lot more to be unlocked in the future. So don't be put off by combos that you're seeing thinking that it's unattainable. And seeing those incredible breeders making doubles and triple recesses and combos. It's a long path, and that's something that I try actually like to look to talk about within my video and when I actually start out and I talk about the journey because it is a journey, a journey basically to see what can we unlock. And with that, I've I've had so many people, and I gotta thank YouTube for this because um, we have a channel. We have a channel that we can actually not only promote, but show the magnificent experience that we're having within this. And with that, maybe it'll motivate you to take that first step and go ahead and start it something yourself. Like I said this so many times, go ahead, start your channel, start that journey. Bring me along, bring us along. We all love content. And it's funny because I had someone the other day um, remark that he wasn't getting enough content um, like he would like because this hobby is so amazing and there's so many great people 
producing so many things that we want more and more and more. And I love being part of that. I want to produce as much as I can. And I know right now it's, I'm only uploading once a week, but I will up those numbers um, because I want to be real active with this. I want to share as much as I can, not only basically to put myself out there, but I also want to be able to be able to reach out and get back from a lot more people. So go ahead, get that chance, get in front of the camera, talk about what you're doing, what you're working about, because what you're doing might motivate someone to take that step and follow your path also, just as basically so many other breeders have done for me. Um, this is a great hobby and it's a great experience to have. Um, just before I sign off, I want to again um, let you know Red Tot Unplugged tonight. I believe it's around 9 o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock basically my time. There's going to be an interview with Shane Kelly. Um, Adam and Joel, they're going to do a live podcast. Jump on there. Go ahead, chat, say whatever you want and say hi to Shane especially. Um, but go ahead and stop by there and, you know, let's all have fun on this. Um, until then, thank you very much again for stopping by. And again, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. Leave whatever remarks you like. I love reading them and I even love responding to them. And that's the interacting that basically that I love getting back from this community. So again, thank you very much. And until the next time, I'll see you in the next video.